Hi, welcome along to another video. This time, I'm going to have a in-depth look at France. Inadvertently, it will also cover some information from Italy and the former Yugoslavia, Croatia, Bosnia Herzegovina, Serbia. And there'll also be a mention to Hungary, and there will also be a mention to Argentina. Before we start, if you have any issues with alcohol, there might be triggers in this video for you. Maybe you shouldn't be watching it. Uh, following on from that warning, hopefully you've gone to watch something else. If you do have issues, we're going to start with the France 24 website, an article from September last year. Burgundy's prized vineyards real as weather hammers harvest. Heavy rains, frost, hail and disease have battered vineyards across France this year, but few places were hit as hard as Burgundy, where growers are warning of the poorest harvests in memory. Since 2010, we've only had two years without major problems, 2017 and 2018. Another article from France 24 from October last year. Weather woes halve Burgundy wine harvest. Burgundy in the past decade has seen only two normal years, 2017 and 2018. The average yield has decreased by an average of 30% per year in the past decade. So we ask the question, does France have a weather modification program in place? The answer is yes. You may know that, you may not. So looking for further information on that, from September 2013, cloud seeding drifts from Beijing to Burgundy, taking notes of the illustrations left and right. They show Beaujolais vignerons using cannons circa 1900 as an early form of cloud seeding to prevent hail damaged vines. So that was 120 years ago that the first efforts, even if their concepts did not work, there were efforts to modify the weather 120 years ago in France. Taking a further look in the 2013 article, the suggestion is it's now time to look at ways to prevent the disastrous weather from occurring again keen to install machines that send silver iodide crystals into the sky to seed clouds and reduce the size of hailstones. These machines are essential for 2014, so we'll presume they're not in place yet then. As per 2013, the deputy chairman of the Burgundy Wine Board notes that cloud seeding is already used in the south of France, though the cost is high. Nevertheless, he is not ruling it out. It is a possibility, but we need to find a way for everyone to share the costs. So even though it's essential for 2014, the implementation of it, it's already being used in France, the south of France. So we know 2013, there is a weather modification program in place in France. Via another wine website, last week, that's the 27th of January 2021, so nearly a year ago. The wine growers decided to implement a joint hail defence network that will cover 7,500 hectares, involving some 900 growers. The system is Celerise, and it involves a radar to detect potential hail clouds and then a series of 37 launchers. These release helium balloons that get sucked up by the updrafts and then at the right altitude release calcium chloride to act as a nucleating agent. So if we take a quick look at Celerise, intelligent and competitive cloud seeding solution to face hail risk. Because of climate change, storms, including hail storms, have increased by more than 350%. They are becoming more violent more and more difficult to predict and are striking at any time, day or night. They are causing a lot of financial and material damages. Here we find some information under the action section. 
Lyco, Smart Balloon, seeds the clouds at the right place in the right time. So we'll learn some more about that. With Lyco, you'll be able to seed the clouds in less than 10 minutes. Each balloon can embark either with 23 grams of silver iodide or 220 grams of hygroscopic salts, up to 2,000 meters in altitude and fits with civil air regulations. So they've developed two launchers, the Lyco Nomad and the Lyco Sobley. There's some of the names that use Celery's solutions. Hyundai is a big one there, of course. So back to the article from 2013, Analpha is a non-profit organisation that began in the 1950s that studies and prevents hail in France. OK, well that suggests then, if they've been preventing hail, experimenting since the 1950s, that the extreme storms mentioned just now, that are due to climate change, might possibly also be down to 70 years worth of weather modification. It's worth keeping in mind. In 2015, they installed 126 ground generators in Burgundy to protect 42,000 hectares of vineyards. An alpha also worked with the University of Budapest, installing 68 generators in the region. So if we take a quick look at an alpha, the website is in French and there's also an English version, French Hail Prevention Project operation that an alpha field activities take place each year from April to October. The area covered by the Analpha is distributed over four regions and represents a total of 55,000 kilometers squared. These areas keep getting bigger. There's a map of the four areas concerned. About 650 manually activated ground generators are ready to be switched on by volunteers, essentially farmers and wine growers. In the results, the results are based on insurance data. The Analpha first noted that damages recorded by the hail insurers were weaker in the departments equipped with generators than in the surrounding regions. The decrease is about 40%. It could also be suggested therefore, that there was an increase in damage in the other areas from the weather modification. Just because there was 40% less claims in the regions with generators, that doesn't mean the storm was 40% weaker. You could easily suggest that the damage was increased in the other areas and that's why they had more claims. It's very clever wording on their site. There is a major hail control program in Mendoza, Argentina, which is financed by the Ministry of Economy. They have two radars, four twin engine planes for weather modification and 12 ground generators. So there's your confirmation that Argentina are doing it, Hungary are doing it, France are doing it. If we look for more information from 2017. Vineyards in Burgundy in eastern France will be the first in the country. We might as well stop it there because it just doesn't sound like it's the first in the country in 2017, does it? So in that article there's a section called controversy with many of these methods of cloud seeding to alter precipitation and cloud formation there is a lot of controversy because cloud seeding interferes with the atmosphere's natural cycles. If cloud seeding is done on a large scale, it may lead to increased evaporation from outside the area seeded, because the seeded area in theory is taking away moisture. Though other studies suggest that cloud seeding is unlikely to steal moisture from sites downwind. It's going to have a knock-on effect somehow, somewhere, isn't it? It's pretty common sense if you're attracting moisture to a certain area it has to come from somewhere common sense tells you that that last sentence is just the other side of the story as such so looking for more information you've seen climate change is causing the problem 
and no mention of weather modification is causing the problem after years and years of it. So here we go from December 1998. A physical evaluation of a hail suppression project in south western France. So now we're back 24 years and 24 years of weather modification in France. So if we look for the source of that paper in the American Meteorological Society journals, there it is from 1998. And we find in the abstract, during the years 1988 to 1995, 630 point hail falls were recorded on 53 hail days with seeding. Okay, so now we're back to 1988. So now we're back 34 years worth of weather modification in France. So looking for more information on this Vinias website, at the end of the article, there are a few links, mostly in the French language. At the bottom, the last link, it says for a bibliography on hail protection campaigns with focus on Italy, but not limited to it, and up to 1996, see the website of Project Astro 2. The list is in a chronological order and addresses the issues discussed in this document. So over to Astro 2 then. It's in Italian. Not all the articles are, or the papers, it's a mixture of English and Italian. It's bibliographic sources on experimental studies of anti-hail defence. The National Historical Library of Italian Meteorology is specialised in the field of geophysics with particular regard to meteorology, climatology and seismology. There are also preserved numerous texts on particularly severe weather phenomena, including studies on the defence against hail. Picking out a couple from the list from 1899 summary of the conference on the experiments of shots against hailstorm clouds so that would be sound cannons explosives that was generally what was being used around that time it's debatable whether it has any effect or not but essentially if there were experiments to try and modify the weather in italy in 1899 that then is 100 and 23 years of experiments to modify the weather in Italy. If we look at one from 1901, report of the studies done in the year 1900 by the government station for the study of thunderstorms and hail experiments. From 1912, on a new defence system against hail and atmospheric electrical discharges. From 1950, Report on the conduct of the anti-hail defence experiment implemented in the year 1950. Some of the English ones from 1987. Research of the Italo-Yugoslavian, Italian-Yugoslav, former Yugoslavia, common hail prevention system. 1987. The need for weather and climate modification. The preliminary study on artificial and natural hailstones links are provided in the information section of this video to all the information shown including links to the french language websites it's not all in english okay back to the vinias website there's a world meteorological organization paper it's in french but there is an english version seeding change in weather modification globally from 2017. Operational programs to modify the weather, including to disperse fog, enhance rain and snowfall, and suppress hail, are taking place in more than 50 countries worldwide. And the statement continues with a section called Caution Advised. The 2015 World Meteorological Organization Statement on Weather Modification also discusses weather modification techniques to suppress hail and disperse fog and it mentions recent interest in climate engineering. Recently, seeding has been proposed as a climate mitigation strategy 
to increase cloud brightness and increase the part of solar radiation reflected into space. The World Meteorological Organization report offers caution for such global scale efforts, pointing out the historical difficulties in proving cause and effect for seeding interventions at the local scale. Global scale cloud seeding does have a historical precedence, but in an unexpected way, through inadvertent weather modification. So in the previous image you saw 50 countries with active programs, and yet they're warning against global scale efforts. Well, we know it's between 50 and 100 countries actually have weather modification programs in place at any point. And that's literally a third of the planet. Some of those areas are very large. For example, China, India, Germany, France. So in that video, we found out that Italy and France, in one way or another, has had weather modification experiments going on for over 120 years. The question has to be asked, is that what's causing the extreme weather events that are becoming more common and more destructive across the world as we see on a daily basis nowadays? Is that what caused it? Please feel free to donate via the links in the information section of this video and don't forget you can find all the links to all the information shown there as well if you want to look much further into this information because there's a lot of information on them links worth a look though